We'll call this work session Monday, August 21st to order. Invocation given by Ms. Frederick and the Pledge of Allegiance by Mr. Dahl. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight and give thanks for all the blessings that we have received. Please be with and comfort those who have lost loved ones recently and who are facing trials and going through difficulties. We ask you to lead us tonight as we make decisions and guide us as we make the decisions for the citizens of the city of Scottsboro. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 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 First thing tonight, number one is a tourism grant fund application from the Art Society of Jackson County. I'm Ms. Crawford. Um, my name is Amanda Crawford, and I am the ambassador for the Jackson County Art Society, or the Art Society of Jackson County. If I can get our name right, that might be a good start. <laughs> Um, we are coming today to ask for your consideration for our event, the Full Moon Art Festival, to be awarded with the Scottsboro Tourism Grant. Um, I have given you the budgeting information, and you've got that available. If you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to attempt to answer them. Um, and as you can see, we do have big plans for this event. And these plans will attract people from areas besides just Jackson County, which I think is the end goal for everything here is to bring people in so they can see what a great place we live in. Um, while all of our artists are from Jackson County and we do plan to utilize local businesses for all of these things that you see on this budget sheet, um, we do plan to make extra efforts to bring people in from other areas. Um, just a couple of examples of how we'll be doing this is the you can see the boost on social media. That will help us reach the Chattanooga and Huntsville areas. And then we also have it worked out with the uh, Southern Torch radio station, Wild 98.3. That'll help us reach the DeKalb County area. So um, we've reached out to Huntsville news stations 19, 48, and 31, and we are hoping that they sit closer to time that they will do a story on the festival. So we're hoping that that'll help our reach. With Huntsville growing like it is, there's no reason for those people not to come see how awesome Scottsboro is. We do have sponsors in place to assist with cost of the cash prizes for our 18 and up costume and storytelling contest. We will also have a children's division for the costume and storytelling and uh, for t-shirts and refreshments and, and, and things such as that. Now, this is the first year for us to do the Full Moon Art Festival but we don't plan on it being the last. We have hosted other events through this past year and they have been very successful. And we really plan for, to see this event be even more of a success. I cannot talk, y'all are making me nervous. <laughs> be even more of a success than those before. Our goal is to eventually open this art festival up to artists outside of Jackson County and to bring people in as tourists and to help the tourism <coughs> development here in Scottsboro. We know that this is possible and we just ask for your help in getting it started. Um, we are a 501c3 registered nonprofit organization. And if you have any questions, I'll be happy to attempt to answer them in a graceful manner. I can't promise to be graceful. But we do thank you for your consideration in this matter. I see uh, the rental of booths, so it's gonna be free to everyone who wants to set up a booth. Uh, the artists pay a membership fee to the Art okay. Society, and these funds are actually going back into a general fund that we hope to provide a grant to local artists here in Jackson okay. County. Whether they're going to school or whether it's someone struggling to get on their feet, we want to provide a grant for a Jackson County artist. Okay. Anyone else have any questions on this? What are the hours? Mm -hmm. I believe we're going to start at 2, and we're going to end around 9, 30, 10 o'clock that night. Yes, sir. Where's the venue? The venue is the silos here in Scottsboro. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Any other questions? 
no other questions, we'll put that on next week's meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right. Number two, tourism grant fund application from the spay neuter of Jackson County, Alabama, Miss McLoda. <laughs> I've got a couple. Yes. <laughs> Me and Mr. Kimmer were talking about this. So have you checked with the district attorney's <coughs> office about hosting a bingo? I have not. Lions Club doesn't really host a bingo. They do a hot dog supper that includes bingo. Oh, <laughs> to avoid the gambling. 
there you go. And so you might want to check that out, first of all. And so you're saying the bingo, since you're asking for a tourism grant, will bring in people for the bingo, correct? Okay. And certainly your point is well made. Yes. Um, anyone else have any questions, comments, or anything on this? Thank you for what you do. Okay. much needed. It is. All right. Thank you. We'll put this on next week's meeting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number three, pickleball courts update. Mr. Olinis. No, it's exciting. I'm, I'm glad Shane is going to do that. I know he's on the rec advisory board yeah, also. Advisory yeah, and so. Yeah. Anyone have any questions about the pickleball? As always, good job. <laughs> yeah. As always, good job. Well, thank you, thank you. I asked you last time if you had your paddle. You said you had one for every day. <laughs> 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 we hope to see you all out there and uh, everyone. Uh, it, it, it's a game for everybody. Jim, we appreciate everything you've done with this. Thank you. Uh, number four, discuss the budget amendment for garbage cans for solid waste department. Mr. Lebel.
struggled, but we wouldn't find that at one time. So 160, 158, 160, that we were chased multiple times. This will get us where we need to be, and we have exhausted funds for this current budget year already. And, and we like we say, it's it's, a, it's one of those problems with growing pains, and so here we are. We're out of garbage cans. So, <laughs> anyone have any questions, Mr. Level, on the garbage cans? No questions. We'll put that on next week's meeting. Thank you. All right, number five, discuss the resolution of adopting the city's transportation plan pursuant to the Rebuild Alabama Act. Ms. Phillips, will you go over that, please? Um, as part of the Rebuild Alabama Act requirements, um, all municipalities must adopt by majority vote of the council an annual, annual transportation plan that lists the project or projects for which the expenditures are intended to be made in the next fiscal year based on the estimated revenue from the Rebuild Alabama Act. So our estimated revenue is 102,000. So we just need to decide which project that's gonna go to. So 102,000, you can just pick one of the streets. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, they're all well over that, <laughs> so. Yeah, well, yes. that, we have to actually assign it to a certain street. So I, I talking with Ms. Phillips, I think if we say the Michael Way project, it actually covers two different sections, whichever so, one, yeah. And so I think that would be the easiest way to fix this. So anyone have any questions on this? Still in city streets? Yep, we're just gonna have to put, actually have to put one street down. Because any of those streets will be more than that amount. Okay. Right. Any questions on that? Here and then we'll move that to next week's meeting. Then. All right. Number six. Discuss the resolution to award the HVAC bid for the retcom. Ms. Phillips, we go over that. We posted one bid, hand delivered seven bids, and received three bids for the unit at the RETCOM for the gym. Um, it's recommended that the bid be awarded to the lowest responsible bidder, which was central air conditioning. Mm -hmm. Any questions on this? And this is that unit two that we had to rebid. All right, no questions, we'll move out to next week's meeting. Number seven, discuss the resolution to award the HVAC bid for the Civic Center. Ms. Phillips, go over that. We posted one bid, hand delivered seven bids, and received three bids for the two units. Um, central air conditioning was also the low bidder for both units. So it's recommended that the bid be awarded to them. Hmm. Any questions on that? Will this be a budget amendment? Yes. yes. Come out of exit sales tax. Uh, uh, unless there's something else we can get it out of, <laughs> it'll have to be. Any other questions? All right, we'll move that to next week's meeting. Uh, number eight, discuss the budget amendment to repair repeaters for the radio system. Chief Latimer.
you see in your packet that amount. Anyone have any questions about these repairs? No questions, we'll move out to next week's meeting. Thank you, Chief. That'll conclude the meeting. Uh, we'll go to delegations. Mr. Moody. Emory, you want, well, before we get going, I, I know there was meetings on this. Uh, Mr. Level, you want to discuss? all of y'all saying that I felt this needed further discussion by the Solid Waste Disposal Authority before there was any institution or implementation of the change. Well, I just, That's I, my interpretation I have. <laughs> I'm prepared to move forward with the <coughs> trimming gas.
Yes, it, it has been discussed, but it had, nothing has been passed at this moment. Uh, and and that that is something uh, we could sit down tonight and go ahead and schedule the next SWDA meeting. Yes, that way we can get that on the books and so we can get that discussed soon. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I have no problem with what is it today. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, if we did September, well, that's a holiday. September 11th be the first. We're gonna go ahead and set the next, next SWDA meeting for September 11th. That way we can go ahead and get this discussed. And then anything can be on the work session on the 18th. Hmm. At four o'clock, yes, four o'clock. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. No other delegations tonight, so we'll go to reports. Mayor. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Again, Mr. Olenese, thank you for all the work on the pickleball courts. They look great. There was a crowd there Saturday. And uh, oh, there wasn't anybody there at 1 or 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I did notice that. Um, paving on Crawford Road started today. Uh, they have the Aldots moved the guardrail, and, and uh, they started working on Crawford Road today. And I would like to congratulate Ms. Kirkland and our uh, Scottsboro Main Street. They were awarded three awards recently. The Hero Award uh, for Julie Gentry Michaels in Memoriam, Excellence in Business Development for Networking Socials, and Reinvestment Award, $1 million. So congratulations to our Main Street. That's all I've got, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. Ms. Frederick. No, I don't have anything. I'm just glad to see so many people out tonight. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ashburn? I'd like to clarify something I said last week. We were talking about the uh, playground equipment and the ground cover uh, that goes with it. And I was contacted by someone who was uh, showed a lot of interest in the uh, handicap accessible piece of equipment. Mm -hmm. And they told me that uh, having the uh, kind of ground cover that she thought that we were going to have that wouldn't be wheelchair accessible. But I didn't go farther with that. We will have to have this uh, rubberized mat or some kind, something that will make it uh, handicap accessible. Yeah. What I meant was we couldn't put that mat overall over the whole court. It would be $200,000 if we yeah. put it over the whole yeah. court, but it will have to go over where the wheelchair accessible part will be. When we put that up, we'll have to make it good for the for the wheelchair people either that or you can do a concrete mm -hmm. right to the piece of equipment yes that's all i have okay thank you miss Tolliver. i just want to remind everybody about our art sunday september the third please uh remember to come out on that sunday and celebrate with everybody with uh three arts thank you thank you mr doll uh i'd like to recognize all the DOT state workers on our uh, highway safety project. Everything seems to be flowing very nicely now. Uh, at Common Park and Seven mm -hmm. uh, Yes. Everything seems to be working as planned. Just uh, Thank Josh and the engineers mm -hmm. at DOT. Just getting used to that. Being able to turn while you're going straight too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's gonna work. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I just want to thank everybody for the calls, the uh, text, and uh, uh, visits to my family during the passing of my father-in-law. Um, we we know what a great man he was, and uh, he would be truly missed. And I really appreciate everyone reaching out for that. Um, 
Uh, Saturday, I did uh, get a chance to go out to the pickleball courts uh, that morning and got there like 8 in the morning and thought, 8, there won't be that many people there. And I, <laughs> I pulled in, I was like, oh, I'm going to have to walk forever because, uh, you know, that parking lot was full. But there was a nice crowd there, and uh, everybody was having a great time. Uh, Mr. Onis, thank you. Appreciate everything there. Um, uh, remind department heads, uh, we're going to hit September, you know, uh, budget amendments, things like that we're going to cut off while we're doing these budgets. So that's why I tried to get everybody in here this week. So remind y'all that. Um, also remind SWDA meeting now, September 11th, 4 o'clock. So put that in your calendars. All right. I appreciate everyone coming out. Thank you, everyone. We're adjourned. Thank you. Oh, well, before we're adjourned, I'm sorry. Before I, I need to remind everybody of the budget meetings. Um, we will meet tonight, right now, 530. We will meet tomorrow night at 430, budget meetings. Uh, but there will be none Thursday this week. We canceled Thursdays. So it's just tonight and tomorrow next week, uh, this week. And then we'll meet again Monday of next week, and I'll follow up from there. So budget meetings now. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. Thank you. We're adjourned.